welcome to lovely nail and beauty please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click the notification bell and also to click on the like button if you like the video thank you hi guys today i'm gonna show you how to clean resign how to clean cups after a resign project so right there i have different kind of cup and we're gonna go one by one and i'm gonna show you which cup is gonna be the easy one to buy or to clean so i have a cup with different quantity of resign inside so over there i have the silicone cup and right there i have the big plastic cup that i mix the resign so I'm gonna start with this one. Over there we have the resign. The rest of the resign in the bottom of my cup is a great amount. So I'm gonna try to put it up, but it's kind of hard because the quantity of the resign is great. So I'm gonna try again. It's a big struggle. And as you can see, those plastic cup, they are very sensitive. So it's kind of hard to take it out, take it out. So I think I'm gonna leave this cup. It's very hard to take off the resign inside. And also I can see some resign on the side of my cup, inside of my cup. So I'm gonna use the tape. The tape also help to take off the resign. As you can see, you can see some resign, but you have to buy a sticky tape. So I'm gonna again try to clean the side inside of my cup. I'm gonna try to take it off again. It's very hard this one. So we're gonna find out later on why it's hard. Very hard. So now I'm gonna try this cup. So this cup have less resign in the bottom. So I'm gonna try to take it off. As you can see, it was easy. I just move, twist the resign inside with the hood stick, and all the resign just went out of the cup. That's so easy and beautiful. So now I'm going to try to use my tape again because I want to make sure that I take off all the resign. But only use the tape for the side of the cup. As you can see, you can see some tape over there. I'm going to put some tape again. Okay, now this cup is clean. You can use that again for a next project and you can see the resign on the top of the tape. So that's my second cup. And as you can see, the first cup, the resign was a lot. So now I'm gonna take this cup that have the blue resign. So the quantity of resign is small in the bottle of the cup. I'm gonna try to move it to take it off. It's pretty hard okay as you can see I take off again the resign in my cup but again I still have a couple of them so I will need again to use my tape to make sure that all the resign is gone As you can see, there is small amount of resign inside of my cup. And this cup is clean and is ready to be used again. So now I'm gonna take my big cup. So for this big cup, I'm gonna start to squeeze my cup and I can hear some crack. And I'm gonna use my tape to take off. This one, I didn't put any wood stick inside. So I'm gonna start with my tape. 
to take off the resign. Okay, wow. Okay, it's so heavy. When it's heavy, you can pull out the resign too. That's what I'm gonna try to do. In this big cup, I think I put a lot of resign. So we're gonna see if everything is gonna come out from the cup. But so far, so good. So I'm gonna try to pull. It's a kind of struggle. Okay. Wow. But on this cup, as you can see, the bottom still have the resign that didn't dry completely. And you can see that. So I'm gonna let this one dry and try to pull it off again. So now I'm gonna use the silicone cups. That's the silicone cups. As you see, it's soft. And I'm gonna try to pull up the resign inside. So the silicone cups, it's easy to use. As you can see, I squeeze. And you can see the resign just coming. It's so easy to clean. I don't have to use extra strength. It's very amazing. It's easy to clean. You can peel off the resign without any difficulty. I don't need any extra strength to clean it. So that's the silicone cups. And I have another one, silicone cup. I put the wood stick inside. Again, I'm gonna try to squeeze. And look at that, all the resign is out. So from all my cup, I realized that the silicone cups is gonna be the best for your project. It's easy to clean and easy to reuse and you save money too. So from the plastic cup, the best option is always to make sure that when you finish a project, the resin left are very small because if the resin left inside of your cup is a big quantity, it's gonna be tough to take off all the resin. As you can see, I'm gonna show you, you can see the difference. The orange one is very small quantity of resin. The blue one is very small quantity too. But when I take this cup, the green one, it have a big quantity of resin in the bottom. That's why it was very hard to take it off. So the trick for the plastic cup, left, leave always a small amount of resin. Thank you so much for watching and send me any message if you like the video. Thank you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, to click on the notification and the like button. Thank you so much.